Okay, let's start with this scene, the proposal. It's supposed to be very romantic. You go out, you try to shoot the best stuff you can, but it just is lackluster. There's no magic about it. It's not horrible footage, but it's not very good. And so let's see if we can just drop the film styles filter on here and make a big difference. So we're just gonna grab the filter and boom, instant romance. All right, we're done. Now let's take a look at some of the options. The film look, of course, is the S gamma curve. So we're getting more of a filmic contrast. Now different footage is obviously shot at different exposure levels. And so that's why we put exposure sliders in these film styles filters so you can make up for a high key or a low key shot. So we're gonna just bring this up a little bit and then there's a Restore Shadows slider, which allows you to very quickly bring in some detail back out of shadow areas. And so it's really quick to dial in the filter to your footage in terms of exposure. Then we've got Saturation, which of course we can tweak here. Magic, which for a romantic shot should probably be a little bit higher. And that, of course, makes our film look even greater. So we'll bring up shadows even more, bring out some more detail like in her hair. And then we've got a vignette here, and we can adjust the size of that. And you notice what that does is it just allows you to focus more on the subject and less in the periphery of the frame. We're going to make it not quite so dramatic. Sometimes a good technique is to overdo it and then underdo it and then split the difference. And that's a quick way to dial in a look. So let's do a before and after because first, do no harm is the colorist oath as well as the Hippocratic oath. And so, romantic, romantic, what do you think? Which looks more magical? So you can see very quickly we were able to just kind of uh, dial in some very basic settings and get this to look way better. Now I'm going to do one more thing because I think it's a little distracting that this fellow's ear is so sharp and things around the fireplace are sharp. So I'm going to throw the 35mm uh, depth of field, actually, yeah, this depth of field plug-in. And you notice how this works is it, turns everything pink that's going to be out of focus. So it allows you to very quickly dial in exactly what you want in focus. So we're just going to position this right over her head here and give it a little more height and a little more width and move it again. So again, we just want to focus in on her. Now we turn the tune checkbox off and we don't want something extreme where everything's like way out of focus. That actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, we just want something very subtle. And if you turn it off, you can see that all we've done is add just a little bit of blur to the area away from her. And again, it's all about drawing the audience's eye towards your subject, featuring and highlighting your subject you still want him in there because you still want the relationship between them. So it's, it's a nicely framed shot, but it just looks a lot better with these film styles filters. Again, there's the before, there's with a little blur on the background, and there's with film styles.